Unfortunately, this graduation is not just about the class of 2018. It is for everyone who is losing their home base. It is not just a goodbye for seniors. It is a goodbye for everyone who has ever bled green and gold. I was actually at my friend from Riverhead's house and my phone was blowing up and it was all my friends and we were in a group chat and my mom and Mer it was, I got the text that Mercy was closing and I got the link and I clicked on it and it was like wow like it was so surreal. My mom checked into her, e her email and read the whole thing out loud and I was listening from upstairs and right when they said like well, right when my mom said they were deciding to close down Mercy, I just broke down into tears. It like really hurt and like it still does today, but uh, like time heals, I guess. But that day was like one of the worst days, like probably in my life. It was extremely poor how they handled it. I think regarding the kids, that was one of the most disappointing parts for them was that why didn't they talk to us? You know, we would have been sad, mad, and all of those emotions, but at least if they would have took our questions, just told us. But I guess they didn't want the mass hysteria. I, I don't really, you know, I'm sure they had their reasons, but that was the most disappointing part, and that's how most of the children perceived it as. They didn't care enough to even tell us. To see your children so sad and so upset, as a parent, and then you can't do anything, is the, is the most awful thing. We loved the school. We just loved it. We, we loved seeing the pictures on all the walls. The, the kids talk so highly of all the teachers, and they just, the teachers just interacted with the kids in such a different way. I felt like the None of the efforts were heard. The diocese didn't accept anything. They pushed it aside until there was basically no other choice but for kids to move on. They didn't allow us any to put any effort towards doing anything. Definitely at first it didn't hit me right away because I didn't think of the long-term effect of it. And then once it actually hit me, I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do without those people, like I've been with them forever because most of them I have went to elementary school with also. So I didn't, I was kind of in a place where I was like, I don't know what to do with myself until I kind of, a few weeks later, made it a more positive thing where I was like, oh, I make new friendships, maybe it might be a good experience. It was hard on our class because like, just like, I like, my sister graduated and I'd been going to like games and like just events since like I was like in fifth grade and like I just loved the school and it was like a family to me and like it was my home. And for us juniors it was really difficult to just be thrown out in our last year to a different school. As time comes closer to graduation, it makes me realize that I won't be with any of my friends for that day. My favorite memory was definitely Spirit Weeks and Homecoming because how happy everyone was and you can show how much spirit you had. And I always went out all the way out, crazy outfits, and it just made me happy. It was probably our junior year. Uh, we played Wine Dance for Homecoming and just like the week building up to it. And then when we played them, uh, we beat them. And I remember just like after we won, like just the sense of like feeling I got was like something I, I've never experienced before and it was incredible. How it was small and how everyone was like a family. All the teachers and everybody, like everybody knew each other. So it was, it was just kind of like a warm place and not like a homey place that I could go. I definitely will always remember this school as my home. I had so much pride being a Mercy student. I still do have pride. I'll forever have that place in my heart. We are the underdogs, but we know how to win. Even if there's no building to drive past or football game to go watch, we will turn to each other and we will always be able to feel the presence of mercy.